Trash. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Ash Beauty, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to be showing you how I do my wash and go um, again, but I'm going to be featuring the Diva Curl products. Um, I purchased this little travel slash trial kit from Cosmoprof, and um, I'm a student, a cosmetology student, so I get a discount, and I didn't realize how great that discount was. Um, I looked online, and this set is apparently $30, but I paid half that price, so uh, I was grateful for that. Um, so yeah, I gave it a try, and in the video, you'll see how I did my wash and go using mainly these Diva Curl products. I used every last single one. Um, I will have a separate review video, so you guys can uh, get an in-depth uh, review on how I really like this, but um, this is just showing you how I achieve this style using mainly these Diva Curl products. Um, so if you want to see, then make sure you continue to watch. Sorry about the lighting as well. Um, sun's going down, but I had to film this intro. And yeah, stay tuned. So I'm just starting off by showing you guys the products. And then starting off, I'm going to be using the No Poo. And I'm also going to be using the um, One Condition. So these are the two products I'll be using in the shower. The No Poo and the Conditioner. So as always with my wash and goes, um, or any wash that I do, I do a quick rinse just to release any product buildup that it may that I may have. And then right here I'm actually checking to make sure my curls are back because I actually did um, flatter my hair previous to washing this hair. And they're back so that's good. And then I'm just going to quickly read the directions just because it's a new product and I just want to make sure I'm using it correctly. So for this being a no poo like shampoo it's kind of thick but that's okay. I'm just going to lather that up on my head. Well, not lather, but <laughs> distribute it throughout my hair. Make sure I really get on my roots and pull my hair top and scrub. You guys know the routine. Then I'm going to rinse that out really quick. And I actually like the way my hair felt. It was really soft and this was just a no poo slash shampoo kind of thing. Um, so now I'm just going to throw this conditioner in it. Almost got it all over the place. But I'm just going to load that up on my hair. I really like the way this make my hair felt and uh, it gave me some good definition so that's pretty good. I can definitely see my hair growing in this clip so yeah. And then I'm just going to repeat and do the same thing to the front, uh, rinse it pretty good. I want to go ahead and apply the no poo. And make sure I really scrub my scalp good. And then give that a quick rinse and then I'm going to apply the conditioner. I actually think straightening my hair or uh, flat ironing my hair, it loosened up my curl pattern because I don't think my hair has ever been this curly while I was washing it. I was running out of conditioner, so I had to take the top off. So now that that's pretty much all in my hair, I'm just going to bun this up like I have the back section and wash up and I believe my camera cut off but um, that's alright, it's nothing really new to this routine. Um, the back is already done, I moisturized it and applied some gel to it. So I'm just going to bun that up and work on the front so you guys can see 
I'm just gonna part it how I normally wear my hair on the side and just run the comb through it just to detangle just a little bit and then I'm just gonna get to spritzing this hair to give it some moisture and I'm using the set it free moisture moisturizer the diva curl and it really wasn't I was kind of having a rush sort of so I just took the top off and poured it in my hands to distribute it faster than spraying it but it's kind of lightweight and my hair needs more moisture than that but that's okay and now onto the gel this is the light defining gel and it's really lightweight and I'm not a big fan of that it seemed like it had a good consistency but when I applied it to my hair I can tell that it wasn't gonna give me the definition I was looking for It wasn't bad, but I just knew that it wasn't what I was looking for. So I took the back out and I worked it in all together. And this is pretty much the look I was getting. And I knew if I dried it, like I let it air dry, it was just gonna be like a poofy afro. And I was looking for more of a curly afro. So I just went ahead and used my other Eco Styler gel that I've been using at the moment. So that's always a staple that I'm going to have. I'm actually using the Argon one at the moment. Uh, it's the third one I'm trying. So starting in the back, I'm just going to attempt to bun the fr front portion up and just run the gel through the back. And you guys already know the routine from there. Just rake it through and saturate the hair in the gel. And that's the definition I was looking for. You can see my curls popping right there. See, there's a lot of definition going on. And then I'm just going to continue to do that throughout the hair until my hair is all done. And we're going to give it a shake, and that'll be it. Um, this is the finished product when I did it in the morning it was about I'm gonna say 8 o'clock in the morning and right now it's probably 530 maybe going on 6 um, so it's dried in the front not the roof at all it's still pretty wet um, I didn't get a chance to diffuse it with my blow dryer because I had to go straight to school so um, I didn't pretty much get the style or anything um, I just let it air dry and this is what I have. I didn't get to blow it out to stretch it to get some length. This is pretty much it, but um, I actually like the result. The curl definition is there. Um, the other gel definitely helped. Um, but all in all, I like this set. Again, stay tuned for my other review, my in-depth review on this and my first impressions. And thank you so much for watching. <laughs> um, if you like the video, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share it and stay beautiful.